What's it been? Three years? It feels like centuries. Maybe this won't be as bad as we thought. She sounds friendly. I heard you got your heart broken. Ah. How does it feel to crawl back home to lick your wounds? I'm glad my misery is such a source of joy to so many people. Between you, Sergio, and my mom, it almost makes up for it. Take it as a compliment that I'm assuming you have a heart. You always loved holding on to grudges. Not all of us are so easily distracted by the next shine. Am I making you nervous, Jala? Good. I'm not your pawn any- A queen and you will bow down oh honey I don't get down on my knees for just anyone Show some respect when you speak to the Maharani Dia used to be the middle school mean girl on the outside her life was perfect but really she was deep in the closet what began as Jala confronting Dia about bullying Tyler turned into a torrid secret romance those hormones really had a grip on Jala in middle school. Rude. They even started a band together to have an excuse to meet up. But let's just say things ended uh, messy. For the band and for them, Dia's never forgiven her. You've been brought before the throne to stand trial for your crimes. I demand proper representation. This is a violation of my rights. Why don't we just skip to the execution? Yeah. We all know she's guilty. You're making me sound like a tyrant. Please continue. Jala Jayaratna, you stand accused of being a traitor, a liar, a betrayer, and worst of all, a shitty friend. Let the trial begin! I just say I'm finding your pettiness confusingly hot right now. I want to show you how I saw us. The world trembles beneath our feet. Our shadows eclipse stars. The stars in our hands, we lay waste to galaxies. You, by my side, as my general, my warlord, my celestial commander! And you would kneel only to me. <laughs> the way you touched me back then, you can't fake that. You felt it. When I kissed you, it felt like waking up, like being set on fire, like being on stage, bathed in applause. You didn't even realize you held my heart in your hands, did you? You were so careless. Are those hair buns cutting off the blood supply to your brain? <laughs> we started a band together, Jala. That's eternal. That's sacred. We practiced for weeks for Battle of the Bands. We were ready to go on that stage and dominate. But you showed up that night with me look in your eye. I thought it was nerves. Anticipation. Up on that stage, you sabotaged us. You played so badly, the crowd threw things at us. We were humiliated. We could have been queens, conquerors, gods. We could have been invincible. But you threw it all away. You threw me away. 
You betrayed the Maharani! I never understood why. Oh, come on. Don't pretend you don't know. I asked you to leave Tyler alone. But you didn't just keep messing with her, you escalated. Yeah, duh, I was jealous. Can you blame me, given how things turned out? But after what you did to her, you and me, we were done. So you replaced the next thing I know, you show up to school on Monday morning on Tyler's arm. You announced you were together to the whole school. And what could I say then? No one knew about us. I just had to watch your romance play out. You were the one who wanted to keep things secret. I couldn't tell my parents, you know that. I can't believe you're trying to turn this around on me. Don't pretend it didn't suit you too. You didn't want Tyler to know. You fought for Tyler. Me, you left me in the dark. You were so in love with her the entire time you were with me. Just admit it. I was nothing but a rehearsal for the main event. <laughs> What you did to me back in middle school sucked. But you know what's worse? Your parents accepted your sexuality. They love you. You are so goddamn lucky to have grown up with Auntie C in your corner. But you left town with Jennifer and didn't come back for three years? Talk about ungrateful. That has nothing to do with you. Why don't we just stick to our issues instead of borrowing from the general pool? You are still so self-absorbed. Do you even know what happened to me after high school? I came out to my parents. They kicked me out. They pretend like they don't even know me when we pass on the street. What do you even say to that? Ugh, stop. I don't want your sympathy. I'm fine. I am thriving. Being me came at a cost and I paid it. But you, you've always had it so easy. It is time you learn how to suffer. Indeed. attention yet, Jala? Or do I need to step up my game? Step up? How about you try not to fall over?
Earth to Jala. This is not the time to get distracted. Her thighs, they're just so powerful. Snap out of it. Your ill-timed thirst is gonna get our asses kicked. Would it be so bad if I just gave in and let her have her way with me? No. Don't you dare, Jala. Ugh, fine. Okay, we need help with this whole situation. Remember how we summoned Mom before? Mom? Seriously? No! Think, Jala! Who do we know who's an expert in messy lesbian psychosexual drama? Oh my god, you're right. Auntie Chandra! Summon Auntie Chandra! If she can't help you out of this one, you're doomed! <laughs> Auntie! The least you can do is enjoy it! I thought what I wanted was revenge, but the truth is, I'm still not over you, Jala. Be honest, you're not over me either. Are you kidding me? When Erfan told me you kissed him in junior year, I knew. You cheated on Tyler. You were obviously bored of her, but it wasn't about Irfan. It was a message to me. And that's why I told everyone what you and Irfan were doing behind Tyler's back. This song is not about you, Dia. What are you even talking about? Don't act like you don't know. I went out with Irfan after my thing with you blew up. Of all the boys in school, you picked my ex? Come on. I didn't even know you and Irfan had a thing. And even if I did, that wasn't why I kissed him. You can lie to yourself all you But what we had, what we did to each other, none of it was good or bad. It was transformational. I'm not sorry. And I don't want your apologies. All I want is a chance to transform you in return. I can think of a few other ways we could resolve all this tension. Yes, we get it. This fight is metaphorical. How do you like my new sound, babe? I see why you gave up the guitar. want to hurt you. <gasps> oh, all right. I do want to hurt you. Forget words. 
are all just rationalizations and justifications. The truth is in the music. Let's play. We still sound good together. Don't you dare forget it.